Well, this is a pretty good reason what Josh was showing you why tractor trailers and commercial buses are being banned from certain highways, including Interstate 81 from the Canadian border right down through where they are to State Route 104. That's the Mexico exit. That's where News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc caught up with drivers. She's live tonight. Julia, did a lot of these drivers actually know there was a ban in effect or not? Well, Jeff, most of these drivers didn't even know about the ban until they saw the signs driving along Interstate 81 while they were already halfway with their deliveries. And since they're not from the area, they have no choice but to stay here at this rest stop. Tractor trailers coming from all across the country now waiting out the storm here. Mike Palmer is driving from the Carolinas to Messina. He says he's lucky he saw the warning signs on Interstate 81 this morning. If I had gone north of this exit and then found out they were closing the road, there's very few, uh, you know, limited places to park. Palmer won't even attempt to take an alternate route. It's too dangerous. And though he has everything he could need in his truck, he says he hit the jackpot, setting up shop right outside a restaurant. Once my thermos gets empty uh, with the coffee, I can refill it and so on. So it's home away from home. Which is exactly the feel Maple View hopes to give off. Time and time again, they see truckers stuck in their parking lot. We try to treat everybody, you know, like family, you know, and make sure that they feel welcome while they're here because a lot of times they are stuck here. The storm bringing in more business from truck drivers, but because their regular customers probably won't make the trip, Adam Teeter says they're expecting a major decrease in sales tonight. Getting snowed in with the drivers, though, isn't so bad. They'll come in, they'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with us, you know, so we actually get to know them. It doesn't bother me to sit if I have to. It, it, you know, after all these years, you just take it in stride. Now, the drivers could be stuck here for days because the ban is ending when the storm ends. But luckily, they do have a safe place to stay inside and get warm. Live in Paris, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Warm up, Julia, get inside. And while you're